An outbreak of mange is continuing to spread through a wombat population in a northern Tasmanian national park. University of Tasmania researchers are increasing their efforts to stop the outbreak and plan to start treating the popular marsupial. Selena Bryan has the story. Wombats at Narontapu National Park have a serious itch to scratch. Notice that it's got a slight patch of mange on it and it's, it's from then you realise that the, the only outcome for that individual is mortality and it is, it is quite distressing. At least half the park's wombat population is affected by mange. Mites burrow under the wombat's skin, irritating the animal and causing its fur to fall out. Over the past year, the disease has continued to spread throughout the park. University of Tasmania researchers are looking into how the mite is spread and its impact on wombats. We're actually looking to start catching wombats and tagging them uh, and then at the same time looking at how their immune systems respond to this infection and how we can manage that. Honours student Kelly Simpson has spent 125 hours watching the marsupials, collecting the most comprehensive data yet on their behaviour. Wombats with mange spent less time walking, they spent more time drinking water, they had a slower feeding rate. The genetic diversity of Tasmania's wombats will now be looked at. Because we know mange isn't only in Narantapu and genetic diversity is essential for a population's health. The next step is treatment. We're going to treat the wombats at a population level and try and make them resistant to the mite for a period of time. The researchers will install flaps over the entrances to the wombats' burrows. As they pass through, the mange treatment will be poured onto their backs. The treatment will be done over three to six months. Hopefully this will be the first wild population treatment and if it's successful we can hopefully mitigate and control the mite until it's eradicated from this park. It can really restore uh, Narontapu National Park for what it's known for, which is wombats. Some improvement is expected within the first 12 months and monitoring will continue for years to come. Selena Bryan, ABC News, Narontapu National Park.